Welcome to this short instructional video about the IBE text. We publish each of our new Pearson Baccalaureate textbooks for Group 4 Science in two formats. Option 1 is a printed book bundled with an enhanced e-text. This is the book with the inside front cover and the access code. Option 2 is a standalone enhanced e-text. Here is the printed card with the code inside. Both options give you four years access to the e-text. This will be the same for all our new IB Diploma publishing. We'll walk you through some of the key features of our Science eText today. This is a demo account that you can use if you don't have a real account yet. We'll be looking at the Pearson Baccalaureate Chemistry Higher Level text. Once you log in, locate that title and load that book. You can use the search field at the top of the screen to help you navigate the textbook. For example, I'm going to type in fatty acids and see what comes up. Here you'll see all references to fatty acids from the whole book. You can refine your search by going down the drop down menu and picking a particular chapter. This will show you all the references to fatty acids under chapter 13. Alternatively, you can use, it, use the Browse tab at the top left. Each chapter here is split into easy to follow sections. And you'll see them once you click into them. If you want to bookmark a particular page, you can do so by clicking the bookmark icon here. This means that the page has now been bookmarked. If you go to the bookmarks folder here, you'll see that page 768, which is the current page now we're on, has been bookmarked under the bookmarks folder. Next time you come back, you can come into this folder and click into this page to get here more quickly. There's also the notes function where you can put a personal note in here. You will now see a drawing pin here that reminds you that you've got a note here. Under the Notes Manager, you'll also see that page 768 is now under here so that you know there is a note on this page. There's also the highlighting tool that you can use to highlight the important parts that you don't want to forget. I'm now going to show you the different resources we have under the resource folder. The first um, folder here is the chapter PDF downloads. These are the PDF documents of the actual chapters. Students can access the core textbook content offline. As we know, this is important to many of you. So you'll see that this is the whole chapter in a PDF format. This means that students don't have to rely on the internet to go to the e-text. The second folder is the animations folder. These animations help engage learners with visual examples. So here I'm going to show you one from chapter two. And you click on the icon to play the actual animation. So this is the animation for electron arrangements. I'm also going to show you another one here. Click into the icon and it will come and pop up. This is an animation that shows the changes of shapes and molecules. If you want to see more of these, you can log into the account and try them yourself. 
The next folder here is the Labs folder. These provide advice on practical work. They're also available in two types of formats. So they're either available in PDF format or in a Word document format, which means that they can be downloaded and they're also editable. So you can download them, look at them, and you can change or edit the um, worksheet so they're more relevant to the classroom. Next folder is the videos folder. These videos are used to bring reactions and processes to life. I'm going to show you one here from chapter four, which is hydrogen bonding. Scroll down the page and find the icon to click into. This is hydrogen bonding in water. I'm also going to show you another one from chapter 15. Scroll down. This is an MRI scan example to contextualize learning. The next folder here is the quizzes folder. In here, there'll be different quizzes to test the student's understanding of that particular topic. So I'm going to click into this one. This one is a click and drag and drop option. So you do this. And click submit and it'll tell you straight away which ones you got right and which ones you got wrong. Now you've got two attempts, so you can either try again and also take a look at the hints, and then you can move on to the next questions as well. There are different types of questions, so now you just saw the drag and drop option question. You also have these ones where they're multiple choice questions. or you have ones that you have to put them in the right order. So there are different types of questions to test the understanding of a particular topic. And the next folder is the Common Mistakes Video Folders. This is unique to our new chemistry books. These videos are created by the internationally known multi-award winning IB chemistry teacher Rich Thornley. He has produced these student-friendly revision videos, especially for our new e-texts. So I'm going to show one of these to you. I'm going to show you another one as well. So you get the idea of the videos. If you want to look at them all, you can log into the account and see them yourselves. And the next folder here is the Fast Facts Worksheet folder. These are worksheets that are again available in PDF formats or in editable Word format. I'm just going to click into one of these so you can see. So this is just an example of one of the fast facts worksheets. 
Now the last two folders here are the work solutions and the answers folder to the book. These contain the answers and solutions by chapters and available as PDF. Now we um, update these as we go as well. So that is the beauty of an e-text because we can update these as frequently and as quickly as we want to. Now this glossary here is also very useful. You can also see the different words underneath the different folders here. There's also an interactive glossary function here where you can pick through the different alphabets. For example, I've picked through R here. Once that's loaded, you'll see the different words underneath you click into radiation, you'll see the definition of radiation here. All the key terms and definitions are collected in here, so students can check any unfamiliar terms and use them for revision. All these can be found on either signposted on the relevant pages or listed under the menu. This is just a really quick way of showing you how to find these resources instead of having to go through every single page. All the access here work on desktop and laptop PCs and Macs and are compatible with iPad and Android tablets using the Pearson eText app. I strongly recommend you to log in and try these yourself. Good luck!